Some of the best food you're gonna have in Thailand is gonna be sitting at a little metal table right on the side of the road. So today we're meeting up with Alex. He's a street food restaurant owner. Uh, he's gonna take us into the fresh markets, picking out the best ingredients, serving it up, showing us how the whole operation works. So today is a day in the life of a street food restaurant owner in Bangkok, Thailand. I need some low. My fresh food is fresh every day. Really, the best Tom Yum Kung I ever had. Okay. Today, uh, we go to uh, Kong Tai Market to buy food and vegetables come to my restaurant. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Nice. All right, we're on the way to Klong Toy Market. Here we go, day in the life. If you've ever had street food in Thailand and wondered how is it so good but so cheap, well markets like this are a main reason why. They go through so much volume, they're able to keep prices low and the food fresh. How do you get that spot to set up the restaurant? You have to pay for it or? Yeah, yeah, I have to pay per one day about uh, 220 baht. 220 baht a day? Yeah, one box. I have five boxes. Oh, okay. So you got five spots. Yeah. Each spot, 220 baht a day. Oh, it's pretty yeah. cheap. Really cheap because the owner very kind. Oh, nice. Because you make the food like for Falang or? Oh, Thai food. Thai food, yeah. Yeah. But Falang style or no? Yeah, not, not, not Falang style, Thai style. Thai style? And Chinese style because uh, I have Chinese and half oh. Thai. Before Siro Min Kong, Salon Min Kong, Min Kong. He's right before in the old generation, uh, his family like do having a farm and then take out the food and come to sell at this market. Oh, for 60 yeah, years? Yeah, for six, 60 years. So this market we're going to, why do you go to this one? Because this market is bigger and everything cheap. Cheap, it's the yeah. cheapest one and you think? Cheap and fresh. Fresh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and if today I, I go and tomorrow I don't go but I have a... Uh, some, someone send the fresh food, oh. come to my restaurant. Shrimp, fish, chicken, pork, eat the fresh food. Every single day it's fresh? Every single day. Oh. But vegetable, today I go to buy to pick the vegetable. Oh, okay. He said like all the vegetables, he really like uh, specific, like want to choose the best ingredient for the restaurant. So that's why he have to go to pick it up. Pick it out himself. Oh, yeah. Wow. His restaurant may be cheap, and it may be right on the side of the road, but street food owners like Alex don't sacrifice on taste. He's been coming to this market for the last 10 years, sourcing the best ingredients for his restaurant. All right, so this is the Klong Toy Market, the biggest fresh market in Bangkok. He says it's the cheapest, it's got the most variety. This is where he knows all the best ingredients. So let's check it out. Nong so you guys need a new pan? Yes. Okay. The old one is broken. Oh, broken. And I buy the glass, beer. Oh, All the glasses, one. yeah. Yes. I buy this, this shop, this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. This one, my customer maybe uh, want to buy and buy and be because it's a logo. Oh, they want to buy it from you? Yeah, oh, for your okay, souvenir. Yeah. Souvenir, yeah, yeah nice. Something like that. Okay, here we go. This market is actually one of the biggest fresh markets in the world. It's around 150,000 square meters, about the size of 30 football fields. In the 1940s, this was all just farmland. But when the Klong Toy Port opened, workers were desperately needed. So the king offered any migrants that came to work at the docks could settle the land around Klong Toy. So 10,000 workers from all around Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Myanmar, all being settled in this area and being right next to the port, this market started up and became the central hub for fresh food from all over Thailand. And Alex has been coming here for 10 years, so he's gonna show us around the best spots of where he gets his ingredients. Say like from this shop with like sweet and like juicy, yeah. He's the best, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. แล้วมันหอมดีมากเลยค่ะแล้วก็จะสั่งกุ้งร้านนี้ใช่มั้ย
แล้วก็เขาก็จะมาตรงนี้เป็นร้านเดียวกันเขาก็จะแกะให้เราแล้วเราก็มาเอางั้นเดี๋ยวเดินมาดูเดี๋ยวเราซื้อที่หอยแข้งแต่ว่านี้ตัวมันเล็กอย่าสกิด So he said like yesterday he already order some and right now he want to get more. So Alex comes here every other day to pick up his ingredients. On the days that he's not here, the shops are sending fresh food straight to his restaurant. So he's working with these shops every day, and today he's going around making his payments and putting in new orders. Okay, so you got oh the oyster, look good. ค่าสไลด์ใช่ไหมเท่าไหร่เอ่ยเอาเอาถุงละสองโลครึ่งสองโลครึ่งนะ Yesterday we ordered this one and she sent to my restaurant, but today order more because every day my food, my fresh food is fresh every day. Markets like this may look intimidating to Westerners, but this market goes through so much volume that everything here is fresh every day. Trucks are pulling in with fresh foods from all the provinces of Thailand. Vendors are setting up their stalls and selling all their product within a few hours. Then packing up and making way for the next vendor, and this cycle continues all day, every day. ต้นหอมสองกระเพราสองโลกระหล่ำสิบห้าโลนะแตงแพงใช่ไหมแตงไม่มีโอเคนะ All right, so he is he's going to these different shops, ordering what he wants, and they're sending it out to the tuk tuk. On the road, that's going to take it to the restaurant. So he just runs by, pays for stuff, tells them what he wants, and they ship it out there. I buy mango this shop. Yeah. Oh, so this is the best mango shop, you think? Yeah. It and tastes the best. Fresh huh? and cheaper. Fresh and cheaper. There yeah. we go. This one radish make uh, for make a pad thai. Yeah, radish with le honey. Honey, yeah, oh, mixed really? together for pad thai. Talking cap. Thai, 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 thai. Ma, do it, ma, do it. Now, I'm a tourist. Yeah. Yeah. This one for pineapple fried rice. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. This is a papaya. Oh, papaya. papaya salad. Oh, okay. This one for make papaya salad. Oh, so that's the green papaya for the yeah. papaya salad. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right there. Yeah, for fried chicken with fresh pepper. Oh, okay, nice. You see pepper powder? Yeah. But that one is dry, but these are fresh. Oh, the fresh pepper, corns, okay. All right, so the guys in the green jackets, they rent those green jackets, those are porters. So he hires them, or he'll hire one to go around picking up all of his stuff, and that guy will take it out to the tuk-tuk, which is gonna take it to the restaurant. So anyone can come and work here as a porter. You just have to rent the green jacket and you can start hauling food for tips. Most of these porters are young guys from Laos or Myanmar. And they come here to work 12 to 16 hour shifts, earning money to send back to their families. The standard rate is 150 Thai baht an hour. Or if they get a small job, they just get a tip. The porters we talked to worked about 14 hours a day and earned anywhere from a thousand to fifteen hundred baht a day. There we go. <laughs> Here we go. See the answers, yeah. How much do you think everything cost that we got today? Today, about 25,000 baht. 25,000, okay. Something like that. So maybe every other day, it's about 25,000. Yeah. Maybe someday, 28. 28, oh. What's your name? My name is Sang. I've been here for a long time. 
เอาโอลีวันเยียร์ที่บินเนี่ยอย่าเออน้องมาจากที่ไหนเอ่ยประเทศลาวมาจากลาวฟรอมลาวฟรอมลาวยายสังเกตุเลยเนี่ย Alright it's uh 44 degrees out here. Alex just bought us some drinks right here. So these guys are so nice, you know, taking care of us, making sure we're hydrated. Okay, thank you. แทนที่อุ้มมหาเทวีเจ้าลงก่อนสวัสดีค่ะ Yes. Or that, so that's where you. That one, over there and over there. Yeah. This is a, a stew pork with rice, Chinese noodle, Thai food around here. Oh, okay. I'm, all right. And air conditioning room over there. Oh. Okay. Thanks. All right. Yeah. So he's got the restaurant across the street, which serves one type of food, more the Chinese style. And then back here, he's keeping all the food for the Thai restaurant, just in these little blue ice boxes, keeping it pretty simple. Yeah, check it. Okay. This one for beer. Yeah, very cold. Cola. Put the vegetable. Oh, vegetables. Yeah. And this one fed, fed food. Oh. Fish. Fish and yeah, vegetables. Chicken, chicken. Shrimp. Squid. Squid. So you also stand out here and try to get customers in. Yes. <laughs> all night. All day. All day. All day. Uh, yeah. Oh. Because they have big m a r i o t hotel. This this area is a food area. Yeah. So now we take a break for lunch and we order the recommendation to things here: pad Thai and tom yum gung. Let's check it out. Tom yum gung. This is the famous Thai spicy and sour soup with the lemongrass, kefir lime leaves, and chili peppers. They used to use coconut milk, but now many chefs prefer condensed milk because it's a softer flavor and you still get the creaminess. And for 120 Thai baht, the flavor of this soup will rock your world. Look okay. good. Mm. It's so good, like. Really Thai style, spicy, sour. It's so good. And like all is like a Thai herb. Really, the best tom yum gung I ever had. <laughs> This a lamb. You put the lamb. If you like a little bit of spicy, you can put the chili here. Bring the chili. But if you don't like. You don't need to put it. Let me try how it's good. Mm. Oh. So the owner said the turmeric salt is secret ingredient. This is why, like, this one is so good. All right. Let's we'll see if she's making this up or if it's actually good. What's everything that's part of this restaurant? Yeah, this one over there, green chair, until that one, okay. white chair over there. Before you tell me about the different like slots that you have to pay, 220 baht per yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. This one, one box. Oh, one, one box right here. Yeah, this one and this one. One box, one box. Oh, five box. 
five bucks. Yeah. Five bucks. Yeah. And this one, two twenty, two hundred twenty baht for twenty-four hours. Yeah. Oh, this one, my sister live here. <coughs> my mom, and over there, my chief. So, so everyone that works here lives right there. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you can look around. It's common in Thailand for employers to offer housing for many jobs. And everyone working at this restaurant lives at one of the townhouses on this street. You can shoot uh, two choy for you. And this one outside, open air. Yeah. And that one have air conditioning room. So everyone can choose. Yeah. They're, oh, look at this, fancy. Yeah, they even have a chandelier. Wow. And it's hot right now in Bangkok, so maybe yeah. people want to go in this aircon room. Yeah, if you have one group, big table, a uh, big big group, this one can sit uh, 20 person, perfect. They are connecting all together. When you order papaya salad, this one, my neighbor. Oh, so if you have a customer order papaya salad, you yeah. just get from them? Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. So he has these tables scattered around, set up all up and down the street, wherever he can negotiate to set them up and he uses the bottom floor of his house as an air-conditioned option for his restaurant. In Thailand, people often just make things work with whatever they have, and that's something I definitely admire. Uh, Irwin person from France is coming in 6 o'clock. They're setting up like a fine restaurant right here. There we go. So Alex used to run a food stall in the famous mall here in Bangkok, Siam Paragon but he much prefers this street food restaurant as he's grown a large returning customer base that comes back to see him every time they're in Bangkok. So what did you order here? I ordered the, um, the pork pad thai and I ordered the roast duck. And the roast duck was out of this world. Oh, roast duck. Okay. Yeah, the roast duck with um, a side of steamed rice and it was out of this world. So that probably set you back, what, 20 bucks? How much? How much? <laughs> <laughs> um, 200 baht. 200 baht. Which is oh, six okay. bucks. Are you full? Was it enough food? I, I'm bringing some home. <laughs> oh, I'm man, bringing some home. Right it was more than enough. So All right, cool. It was outstanding, you know. Well, hey, that's, that's life in Bangkok right That's there. life in Thailand, that's right, for sure. <laughs> there you go. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so it's 6.30. The restaurant is starting to get some people in there. Uh, Alex is busy working with people, so we're going to check out what the chefs are cooking up. All right, so it's about 7.30, and this place is packed. They got about 60 to 70 people here eating on both sides of the road. He says that it can get a lot more than that, but there's only three chefs over there cooking, so these guys know what they're doing. Is that, is that a popular dish in Thailand? Most popular dish in Thailand. Kapao Musap Kai Dao. There's a kratal right there. If you're ever in Thailand and you like delicious food, put this on the top of your list. Thai dao right here. Oh, oh my lord. Fried tofu. This is pad thai with shrimp. Chicken fried rice right here. Alright, things are winding down here at the restaurant. Uh, Alex is going to be here until 11 p.m. So we're going to tell him thank you for showing us a day in the life. And uh, we learned a lot. We'll be back here eating food for sure. ประสบการณ์ที่ดีมากแล้วก็ไม่ไม่เคยได้มาสัมผัสอะไรอย่างนี้เลยดีใจมากเลยค่ะแล้วก็หลายๆคนแบบที่ได้ดูอ่ะเ
please like, subscribe, and share it with anyone else who may enjoy it.